Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another live stream here on Pastiche of Skin. We're doing something a little bit different. Uh, obviously, you can see me picture in picture with this, but uh, the reason why is because I've got one more, one more loot crate to do here on the channel. It's the last one to arrive, and it is probably the last of the batch of the Halo crates. So you can actually see me putting that up on that screen. Uh, you can see better there. Halo Legendary Crate. And uh, obviously, I've kind of, it's really difficult for me to show. Uh, the two camera screen that I used to do, so uh, which I used to have like really focused down on the actual box, like you would add one down here. So what I'm going to do is actually just have it so that you can see from a bit more angle, so I can be able to actually hold that up really, really close in one side, even though the camera's flipped. Obviously, you get a little bit of a behind the scenes look as well here into the studio. I've been meaning to do like a tour of the studio video for a long while now, and now that we've kind of got a stable setup for a lot of the hardware, uh, then I think I might actually do that as one of the next things here on the channel. So yeah, of course, let's take a look to see what's inside the Halo Legendary box for the month of uh, May, I suppose it would have been. So let's get that out here. And oh, okay. Is that actually a grunt on the inside of the first box? Inside of the box? I can't, I'll show it to you guys whenever I actually get the rest of it open. But first things first, of course, another one of these Spartan UNSC um, field guide kind of like secret information packs that they've actually been given out in every single box so far. Uh, let's see what's inside this. Previous ones have actually had like x-rays of Spartans, schematics of ships. Uh, I'm sure there's been a whole ARG to go along with this, but I've never been interested in it to find out. Oh, oh, <laughs> this one's light. It's like two things in it all together. So we have, ooh, we have a picture. As you can see there, it's a picture of the rings and a station on it. Great. Uh, Apollo leader to CDRS Palmer yes uh, UNSC Infinity. So uh, this is more materials that relate to Halo Five. I'm sure that uh, I will never ever end up playing. <laughs> Guys, uh, the fact that they made it a console exclusive for the Xbox One was um, obvious. It was going to happen. It's, it's their big franchise. But uh, since I was never going to go into that platform, uh, I ended up missing out on it. And to be honest, after Halo 4, I wasn't really that, all that interested. So the franchise was kind of dead to me. So what's our next thing we got here? We obviously got a cap. Okay. I again approve of caps. The only problem is that I have with caps is if they are... Oh, this one's not. Haha. <laughs> oh, awesome. So my biggest problem that I have with caps is that any of the ones that are actually like the standard old school snap fit ones, the, the, the snapbacks... I can't wear them at all, just because uh, shape my head. My head just won't allow it. Oh, is that like... Is this like a wee buckety cap kind of thing? Oh, nice! I like this! So, of course, Velcro ones are a lot easier to fit on my head. That... Oh. Ooh! Well, that's kind of cozy. Oh, yeah. Space monkey and happy. All right, what is on the front of this? Obviously, it's a UNSC branded green military color hat. It's really hard to see in that camera, isn't it? Even harder to see in that one. But you can see that it's actually a standard military style kind of buckety cap. It's like, what else? <laughs> what I would have called a Cuban cap back in the day whenever I was actually a teenager and stuff. But yeah, you can't really see it from all a good detail. The problem is I have to actually hold it further back to get it well lit in this light. So you can actually see it there. So yeah, that's actually not too bad. Cool. Actually, probably the one, the nicest, the only good hat, the only hat that I can wear that ever came in a loot crate. I'm going to wear the hell out of this. The only thing is it makes my face really dark here on the camera because I'm blocking all the light. So let's, uh, let's do this. There we go. <laughs> That'll work a little bit better for now, just so you can see my face. Um, as much as you may want to. The next thing is, of course, another t-shirt. Um, I like colors on t-shirts that are actually anything other than black. And obviously this one is going for that look so the great schism what is it yeah the brutes versus the elites so essentially talking about the uh, great schism that happened between brutes elites i think it was the end of what halo 2 before you end up having the um, arbiter kind of like joining your side really that was cool um yeah i can get behind that that's a cool t-shirt see if you can actually see it a bit better on the other screen in the backdrop freeze but yeah it's decent color it's blue a light-ish blue. Um, print quality is not too bad. I actually like it whenever they get um, a really good design, a concept behind a design. Like any kind of show build fight always looks cool. Whenever you've got two interesting looking sides. 
was it uh, Gerald Hane and Sankali? Eh. I don't know what they actually refer to. Even given their details of their home worlds and stuff. Cool. I'm on board with that t-shirt. Uh, admittedly, it's like a bit too little too late because it's literally the last crate. I'm not going to follow on after it. But this has actually not been a too bad crate so far. So what have we got in here? Ooh. Care instructions. Hand wash only, not dishwasher safe. Do not microwave. I'm curious to know. What is inside this? What is... Oh, cool. <laughs> All right. That's actually pretty cool. Um, I have to get this out of this packaging. So, um, obviously, I'm a drinker, so I have a fair amount of these floating around the house. But I uh, can always do with another bottle opener. This one is intentionally made to look like the Brute Hammer. If you can see it a little bit better in the wider cam, in the backdrop. Obviously, we metal uh, magnet in the back. I don't think you're ever meant to actually lift the beer by that handle, because that does not... Well, it's metal, so it's actually... It'll hold a wee bit. It'll actually take a couple of, like, bends before it actually is a snap of any sort. But I think you actually just grab the top and, pst, and pop it open. But yeah, I don't have a beer bottle to actually test it on, but that looks uh, reasonably decent. We metal bottle opener. Cool. So, uh, yeah, that's what I mean by machine washing. No one know that. So, obviously, we got the um, the Elite Sword back a few crates ago, like a wee model one, the light-up one. It's kind of cool to actually have a beast model to go along with it. So, what's this? Okay. Triangle tube with a rolled poster, of course. And probably has, yeah, it has actually got another code for a uh, loot drop or a uh, supply drop. Um, all the details of what's actually in this box. Oh, okay, there you go. Let's take a look at the poster there. You guys can barely see it on that one. So it's going to have to be up on that screen. So it's actually, of course, an Arbiter versus a Brute. It's part of the Great Schism. Hey, pretty good. Cool. Um, obviously, there is a code in the back here. Um... Sergeant Johnson replica hat. Yeah. So, ooh. Halo Wars 2. So this is a redeem code for Halo Wars 2. So um it's I thought it was gonna be another supply drop craft thing for um <laughs> I love that. And the green on the actual poster disappears. Like uh, um yeah, the code here on this, I'm gonna actually bring this up on screen. So the first person who has Halo Wars 2 and actually gets watches this video gets to have the code so let's see if i can get that close enough to the camera so you can actually read it there you go <laughs> hopefully you can pause it long enough to actually get it on focus I uh, hope you enjoy it. Enjoy your Halo Wars 2 Blitz crate. Um, make sure to comment underneath if you are the one who got it uh, to tell people that it's gone. Be, be a gentleman. Be a nice person and tell people that it's gone rather than actually um, being assholes and using it without telling anybody. That's the, that, that, that would be that would piss me off if it actually ended up happening. Um, I'd want to know who it was that actually done that and then actually banned them. But I don't know what I can do about that really. But um, I'd want to because it's not fair. And of course, the last thing in the crate is our last big Halo icons. This one, of course, being the Arbiter himself. Uh, it's hard to tell. There you go. Gonna have to be on that big screen again. So it's the Arbiter. And as we stand, uh, obviously snaps in with all the rest of the ones that have been put together. What I might do now that I have all six of the crates for the first year of the Halo Legendary crate done and dusted, is I might put these all together and I might actually do a little video of the actual like snap together thing all in one like in a wee kind of rotunda kind of video just to show off what it looks like because i haven't taken any of these out of their boxes and um i don't know what i'm gonna do with them I'll, oh i'll open it up i'll take them out i'll put them onto their wee stands have everybody go off against each other including buck because <laughs> the only one that actually had a recognizable face that i had nathan fillion and i will um set those all up to actually have a wee battle uh, essentially uh, uh, my own little version of the finish the fight model from halo 3. so guys um oh yeah there's one more thing Obviously, the Halo Legendary Crate pin. They always have a pin in one of these. Uh, the pin for the Great Schism with a fist. Whoa. You can see it there a wee bit better. Or you can see it here. All right. So, that is the Halo Legendary Crates done and dusted for... And that's the loot crate done and dusted here on the channel. Uh, obviously, if there's any crate companies that would be interested in doing unboxings here on the channel... Like they'd been done previously, 
uh, here on Pastiche of Skin, they are welcome to do so. I'm just going to put this over here so you can actually see it. So obviously, like, the design on the inside of it is the... Um, I can't remember the name of the guy, the prophet, that actually uh, caused the Great Schism, but it's actually a design based on him, and it looks very, very cool. I love that kind of, like, ash canny, grey and black. It reminds me a lot of 2000 AD, the actual art style. Um, but uh, if there's any subscription companies that want me to actually do their video, do, like, their crates, you're always welcome to just send it on. If you just send it to me, um, or get in contact with me, then I will probably do them again. I will, of course, say that it's sponsored content. If like this has always been sponsored content, I haven't, I haven't paid for a single one of these crates. So um, if anybody wants to actually do that, they're more than welcome to. But as it is now, I'm done. I, like I'm, I'm never going to pay for any of these. And I, I've meant, I mean, they haven't been meant to be send them to me for months now, but they kept on going for. I think it was like the end of a year for each one of the crates. And obviously, because these, this and the um, what was the other one that came out by monthly? Was there another one that came out by monthly that I got? No, it's just the Halo one. This is the only... Oh, yeah, Firefly. The Firefly one was bi-monthly. It started before this, and this was the last of the bi-monthly Halo crates that were in one year, so six crates in a year. So, yeah, that was actually a the last unboxing here on Passage of Skin. Where did I put that pen? I need to actually find that whenever I'm working. Boom, there we go. <laughs> that was the last unboxing here on Passage of Skin. Uh, obviously, the it's been, a it's been an interesting year and a half of boxes. It's been a very interesting year and a half of things on Passage of Skin with... The way things have been changing over the last year or so, how many guys, how many of you guys have actually been coming here to the channel to watch stuff, has been really, really awesome, and I'm really thankful for it. I just like, I want to be able to do more stuff. I want to be able to do more videos for you guys to entertain. I want to see more people here on the channel, and I want to talk to you all. <laughs> like, it'd be nice to actually say hi to some of you if you ever actually want to. And if you want to do that, you can of course get a hold of us on the Discord, which will be linked underneath this video. You can always go to Discord and chat anytime and ask questions and get probably a quick and easy hold of me. Uh, you can also, of course, uh, come to the live streams. Uh, this is actually recorded as part of a live stream. So you can actually come to YouTube or Facebook or to any of the channel streams, anything that's actually restreamed on to be able to come and have a chat in the live conversation and be part of the show. Um, of course, I'll always be here. I'll keep on making content. If you want to get a hold of me and you don't, if you don't have, if you don't subscribe and you don't know where to find me, like literally just search for this. I just search for Passage of Skin. I'm not hiding anywhere. Like literally, you just throw my name into Google. It's not. It's not like there's actually like that many pastiche ofs <laughs> of anything. So um, if you type in Passage of Skin, you'll be able to find me absolutely anywhere on the web. Just Google me. I'll be there. Um, of course, I'll be always here on YouTube as well for you guys, and I'll also be on VidMe with most of these videos too. So guys, if you actually enjoyed watching the unboxings and uh, you're happy, like uh, it's kind of weird to be retiring an entire series. Uh, it's the first series on Passage of Skin I've never intended to go back to. Uh, I stopped doing these videos for one month about maybe five, six months ago. And I didn't want to do any more of them. And I got encouragement from you amazing guys out there that have actually watched the loot boxes, have watched the young crates. And uh, it, it, it's really, really nice to actually have people who enjoy listening to me talk <laughs> it's if any way to talk any way to say it it's a if you enjoy looking at the create contents that's great if you enjoy hearing me talk about the contents then that's even better and i i appreciate every single word of feedback that i get um as long as it's constructive like <laughs> as long as it's constructive and it's not saying like you're shit <laughs> you're like that's grand thanks very much for saying i'm shit don't watch <laughs> if you if you actually have creative constructive criticism things that i actually would assist and make sense in terms of like what I'm trying to do here then feel free to actually always get a hold of me on any of the streams I'm on Facebook I'm on Twitter I'm on all the things so you can easily find me anytime you feel like so uh, guys thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed watching this loot crate unboxing you can always hit the subscribe button that's way up there in the corner um, if you hit the subscribe button you'll get notifications of absolutely everything that comes up here in the channel make sure to like comment and subscribe underneath the video if you actually thought anything about the halo crate that was in this one and uh, this is uh, loot crates on Passage of Skin, done and dusted, that's the end, there's no more, there's no more, there's no more of these crates, no more loot crates on Passage of Skin, so it's been a trip, um, make sure you come back and watch any of the other stuffs on the channel, like, I mean, there'll be boxes all over the place over there on the side, showing you things that have been recent, things that are in the playlist, and other stuff, thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in another video series, bye.